Bam! Bam! <laughs> What's up guys, it's your boy DJ coming at you. I'm just out doing a, uh, 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 before I go to work ride on my uh, Doodlebug electric mini bike conversion. Uh, doing great, um, had to torque down the chain a little bit and uh, got my little safety vest on and stuff, so I don't get ran over. Just riding at the side of the road, I'm using a 20 amp hour, 48 volt battery on this project. Again, this is not the final look of this mini bike. Okay, it's going to be polished to the T. This is just, I'm doing the testing on it so I can see what it can and cannot do. Um, the lovely thing about this mini bike, again, is the fact that it's uh, tubeless tires. So if I were to get a flat, I can just plug the tire up, air it up, and keep going about my business. So this is not finalized at all. This is still in the testing stages to see how well this motor does. I'm using a motor that I've seen nobody on the uh, internet used in a project as far as e-bikes or electric mini bikes, or whatever. And, uh, uh, and I'm very impressed with it. It's a brushless setup. It's a 500 watt motor, but actually you can run whatever wattage you think, whatever wattage you want, as long as the motor doesn't overheat. So I'm gonna jump bump it up to about 60 volts or 72 volts. And that way it will have true mini bike power. Um, Cause right now this 48 volt battery ain't doing it for me. It does about 15, 16 miles an hour, which is still fun because you, that motor's so oversized that it has plenty of torque for like climbing steeper hills and stuff like that running along the side of the road, through the rock and stuff, even in the snow, does great in the snow. So I will consider these tires here to be my what? My snow tires. So I'm gonna try to buy a, try to buy a whole new set of rims uh, for this bike and put have some street tires. That way I can save these, you know, swap the tires when, when the going gets rough, so to speak. But the Mini Jack bike project so far is a success. Uh, I had to slot the, uh, Cut some slots in the motor plate uh, to tighten the chain. So I did tighten the chain up a bit last night. I got a little slack, and I'm not having any problems. No kinks in the chain whatsoever. It's running really smooth. Uh, again, I'm, I'm kind of weird when it comes down to this kind of stuff. I'm not into speed, you know. I'm into just cruising along about 10, 15 miles an hour, having, having a, a, a fun little time on uh, otherwise uh, not legal mini bike with a gas engine. But when you put an electric motor on it, it becomes what? An e-bike. And you can ride it anywhere. You know, as long as you stay within the limits. So, I got my big 500 watt motor, which is just cranking along. Plenty of torque, but I'm going to bump that bad boy up to like 72 volts. I have not found yet, have not yet found a battery to that I want to use. So, I'm still going to have to build like some platforms in there to mount the battery. So, that's going to be another project that I'll have to design. Um, what else do I got going on? Um, I got the battery, a 20 amp hour battery mounted right in the back right now. I've got some foam padding back there to cushion it a bit. And it does really good. So, yeah, that's what I got going on with my Doodle Bug mini bike project. Uh, starting to rain a little bit. Got my little light on the front <laughs> so people don't run me over. But I think this is really a cool idea for those of you who would like to utilize uh, the Doodle Bug mini bike. I'm going to see if I can get a trailer for it too. Give me a trailer hitch for it would be really nice. But for those of you who would like to, um, those of you who would like to uh, utilize your gas powered mini bike, this may be an option for you. Because they're fun to ride, but it is not any fun when you gotta, it's not so fun rather when you gotta haul your bike, mini bike to the trails an hour or two away. But in electric version, you can use it when you want to, which makes it a lot more fun and useful, and useful too. Because I'll ride, I'll, I would ride this to the store and if I wanted to and do some, you know, grocery shopping and come out and go home. Or just ride it around for fun to see what's going on in the neighborhood is a good thing too. So, again, this is my, actually it's called the Baja Racer mini bike, but they also call it the Doodle Bug project that I'm working on. Uh, when summertime comes, I'll be painting it. I don't know what color yet. I may keep it green just to keep it funky. But I do plan on adding a suspension fork to upgrade it a bit. And, uh, you know, reupholster the seat. Nice, fresh paint job. Painting the rim. So it's going to be bling, bling when I get done with it. You know, I may even change the color totally. I may not. We'll see. But I'm um, trying to decide the best. And I have another mini bike frame that I'm going to be using the same motor on. I just have to get my gearing right. Because the tires are much bigger. They're 17-inch tires as compared to these. I think these are 13. So, okay, guys. I'll let you go. Peace.